Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll tell you what should we decide. Either we use Shopify CLI or ThemeKit for continuous of this course. In the previous video, I found out like since the last time I used Shopify CLI, they have improved a lot. They have changed a lot of the thing and my hope was high. So in the past two hours, I focused on uh, creating my workflow with Tailwind CSS and AlpineJS. Uh, I found some issues still, but thankfully, like if you search the issue online, you can find a solution for it. So based on the comments I get from the previous videos, I think it is time to use Shopify CLI. Still, there are some issues, but it is worth trying. If we notice any like very serious problem, we can still find the like a reference to the issue and someone already fixed it. And again, as I said, it is a new tool and they have still some issues that they should fix in the future. But as a developer, we are the one who should report us. Uh, anyway, it has a lot of great features, especially the local development. We spend a lot of time on local development. So I would say let's check it out. Uh, in the next video, I will create a workflow how we can combine Tailwind CSS, AlpineJS and Shopify CLI will create a very nice and clean workflow and also we will discuss about the theme structure what you have to know about the theme structure the json file templates and all you need to know in the next video so yeah i am going to use shopify cli and uh, which is a great thing and i think a lot of people also in the comment request that we should use cli despite the fact it has some back but still i'm going to go with this if it has a lot of issues in the future we can always revert back but it is worth trying, although it is a new tool. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.